In the previous lesson, we looked at something that was already made. We thought we had it in the can. All we had to do was export it, and man, we got the thing, but we were wrong. There were things that we neglected, things we didn't understand, and that's only the beginning. There are things you have to do to make this work. So let's erase what we did in the previous lesson. Again, I've got this isolated so you can see it. Inside of your exercise folder for this class, you have another folder, and it's called template. And inside of template, you have a couple of things. You have the documents that we worked with in the previous lesson. We got some text documents here. Let's do this. Go into and open up InDesign. I can do it down here. What I do is click that button. I love that bouncing. It's just so entertaining. And I'm opening up CS6, of course. We need a template because we're not really talking about a document here. As you're going to find out, we're talking about documents to create something. Now, I might be overdoing it, I will admit. Creating a four or 500 page science fiction novel might not be quite what you had in mind, I agree. But understanding the complexities of putting together a large document just makes it easier to put together something that's simple. Let's start by going up to the word file and going down to new. Now you've got document, book, folio, and library. InDesign is so cool. There's so many things about this program. Go to document. So many ways that you can use it. If you go to the word intent in CS6, you will notice we have digital publishing, and that's where we're going to go. In digital publishing, you can say, well, you know what? I'm going out to the iPad. I'm going out to a Kindle, an Android. I want letter size A4, or I'm going to customize and do anything I want. You know what I want? Actually, I want a lot of things. I want a document to multipurpose. I want to be able to print this and say, here, here's my science fiction novel. It's a paperback novel. Read it. Or, hey man, I want to put this thing out on the iPad or on the Kindle. I want to get rich as a famous science fiction author. I need it to go both ways. Now remember, electronic publishing reformats a document based on the device. So if I understand what I'm doing, I can have it both ways. I'm going letter. Now in letter, it will measure in pixels. And if you're in the United States, we measure in inches. If you're just about everywhere else, it's more metric. But it's 792 pixels by 612. I want it in portrait mode, not landscape. I do want facing pages. Again, that's not really going to make much difference with the EPUB. But if I decide to print it, you know, I want to multipurpose this thing. I can then say, I like what I've done here. I have made some changes, and basically I want to keep this. So I'm going to save it as a preset. And you could say, oh, I don't know, novel. Multipurpose. Click OK. What does that do? Well, it puts it up here. Next time you need it, you got it. Click OK. All right, now we could go up to the Word file and go down to Save As and change that to Template, which is what we want to do. However, there's not really much going on yet, is there? Let's cancel out of here. One of the things that is really important to understand, and I think you guys know this, but I'm going to say it anyway, planning this project out. We're dealing with a large document. And again, it's going to be documents, as you're going to find out. It's not just going to be one. It's going to be multiple documents that have to be put together into a book. I want them consistent. So I've started with the template, and that works. Okay, I've got the 8.5 by 11, whatever, and that's fine. But what about styles? Styles are so important to creating anything, but especially an e-publication. If I go into my paragraph styles here, and incidentally, I am in the book workspace up here. But if I go into my paragraph styles, I only have one basic paragraph. That's not enough. Now, I can choose to begin making them now, but this is where planning comes in. Oh, you know what? I've already done a book very similar to this one. And I went through the trials and tribulations of making the paragraph styles and getting them the way I wanted to and tearing my hair out when they didn't work. I have tested them and they work. Man, I wish I had them now. Well, you can get them. So what I want you to do is open up Paragraph Styles, click this button here, which is Paragraph Styles Options, and go into Load Paragraph Styles. Now, where I want you to go 
is I want you to go into the exercise folder called template in the files for this chapter, and you will see two. This one is if you don't have CS6. I do. Now, inside of that document are all the styles that I worked with. Go ahead and click open. That's going to say, which ones do you want? I want them all. Click OK. And there they are. All my tested, tried, and true styles are now part of this template, which means anytime I use it, I've got them. Guys, I cannot emphasize how important it is to spend time up front developing things like styles, and we'll talk more about them and how you do them, but putting all of that stuff together because nobody wants to go through a couple of hundred page document, get to page about 300 and realize you don't like what you did and have to do the whole thing all over again. I don't care if it takes a day or a week. If you're dealing with something this big, spend time up front to organize it. Create this template. Put your paragraph styles, character styles if you need them, graphic styles if you need them. Put them all together into the template, then go to the Word file. Let's go down to Save As. Let's call this Novel, as in being very novel. Novel Template. Now I'm going to put it into, let's go ahead and find our Templates folder. I've got mine on my desktop. You probably won't, but if you do, there it is. Then come down here, change that to template, and click Save. Assuming we've done our homework, we now have a template that will work with one page or a thousand. It doesn't matter. 